What's going on guys? It's your boy Antg back it again with another video. In today's video, guys, I'm sitting here on this Nas trade right now. So I wanted to do like a, a little different style of a video. So I wanted to do, you know, I always do my live trades with my academy, with my VIP members and stuff, but they're not here right now. I'm here by myself watching Nas doing an account flip. I wanted to see, you know, if I still lost my skills a little bit. I just deposited a little small amount, $2,000. Wanted to see if I can do a nice little flip on Nas here. So for this video, I wanted to do more of like a live trading style. So as I'm talking and watching the market right now, I'm just going to sit here, and, you know, get some pointers out, you know, draw up some analysis and things like that for this trade here. So, so yeah, so we here currently, uh, right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to catch the pre breakout for buys. So I have a nice little pattern here that I'm going to draw that you guys can see. Yeah, so if you guys don't hear me talking, just know that I'm I'm just focused on drawing the pattern. Well, how you guys been though? How you guys you guys been good? I did a live stream today. Caught some nice buys today on us. I didn't see a lot of you guys there, but just so you know, you go your boy is gonna be uh going live pretty often these days now. So, but yeah, but what I'm here doing essentially is waiting for the for the breakout. Uh, now. We have news in about 15 minutes. We have read for the news at 10. So right now, all I'm doing is just sitting and waiting for the trade. I drew my pattern out. So I know exactly where I want to measure my Fib extension once the pattern breaks. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw my false zones here just so I know my turning points of the market. So that's going to be good here. Just get my zones out here a little bit more. You know, if you guys like this, this style better of trading, you know, of the videos, let me know. You know, I kind of do it. I don't do it this way often just because like I'm always occupied with um, with the VIP. So, you know, I'm live trading every day. So I have to, you know, you know, teach the sessions and things like that while I'm in the trade. But I got some free time right now to do it. Uh, the the members live stream, the YouTube stream that happened today, we we hit TP in like five minutes. <laughs> like it was crazy. 830 news hit on red folder and it went straight to TP. If you guys see this candle right here. Uh, where is my tools? No. Yeah, right here. If you guys see this wick here, this is where our TP got hit right there so that was earlier this morning at 8 30 so that was a good move there but yeah but essentially what i'm doing is just i'm waiting here for the break so small psychology i'm not worried about the trade right now or anything this is just a nice little quick pre-breakout entry that i'm waiting for for nah so so pretty much i'll probably if if we go straight to the trade, I probably just fast forward it because there's not really much going on with the market. It's just kind of trying to figure itself out. So what I'm doing here, essentially, I'm just going to wait for it to break. And then once it breaks, I'll probably come back and actually do the full trade, see how the, the market is going to move. I'm not sure how much volume we're going to get because 830, we had a lot of volume with that candle. So I was not expecting nas to hit our tp so quick i mean like i said our tp got hit in five minutes so if you want to actually watch that stream it's on my youtube channel so you guys can go to my profile go to live streams and you guys can re-watch that stream so you know it was so quick that even some of the some of the academy members couldn't even close tp or their tp didn't get triggered because the market moved so quickly so we weren't used to that type of volume at the 8 30 but um, we we will be better prepared next time for sure when the market comes around. So, but it's around it's it's eight forty seven or nine forty seven actually. 
Eastern time, Eastern time. So, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to go ahead and come back for Nas. Once we get the break of the pattern, I'll show you guys how I measure my fib extension to the TP. You know, if I don't see any like confirmation, any false zones, that's going to break my pattern. Then we can, um, then we can, we can, uh, use the fib extension to extend more for a TP, but I'm not trying to achieve much for this flip. You know, I haven't done an account flip in a long time. So I'm kind of like warming up here, kind of easing my way back before I start jumping to like the thousand dollar flips and a hundred dollar flips. So I wanted to do something just a little bit easier, you know, where I don't have to worry too much about having a precise entry because, you know, when you're doing these account flips, you have to be so precise with your entry because you can't hold your trade for long, right? You're trying to achieve a full margin uh, trade with full risk. So your entry has to be so spot on to not get margin called out of the trades. So I'm just kind of warming up here. $2,000 is definitely a good room for me to where I can just like kind of enter. And I don't have to worry about like big drawdown and things like that. So this is going to be exciting. I want to see how this trade goes here. And yeah, I'll see you guys when, when Nas breaks. Nice. So we just got the break here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my fib extension. So now this isn't my my normal fib extension that I have with with um with trading view. I just realized so I have to like tweak it a little bit. You know, normally I'm not trading I'm not hosting my live trades on Trade Locker. I normally host my live trades on Trading View. So, you know, that's why if you guys see on my Instagram, you guys will see this. But my actual setup is on my uh, Trading View. So, I'm actually going to draw it on my Trading View just to see how far the TP is. So, the TP is around that 760 area. But just to show you guys how I draw it, I come from that bottom of the wick to the candle break and the TP will be somewhere around here. Uh, depending on the volume of, of news, that's going to determine if I want to stay in the trade or not for that, for that time being. So that will be, this will be the first TP here that we have right there. And then my second TP will be up there. Just, just depending on, you know how much volume we get so we'll see we're already about to hit the tp here we're up a thousand dollars right now so that's good so we're already achieving um my goal is to do at least a hundred percent flip so 2k so that um so that we can actually call this an actual flip right so we're going to continue to watch nas here we got about three minutes yes we got about three minutes until until we have let me see here. Could we do have red folder news? Right. Let me go ahead and oh. Sorry guys, I'm just looking at some of the stuff here. Yeah, so ten o'clock red folder news, two minutes forty five seconds. Good. All right, and we're breaking what I like what with this movement here that I'm that I'm really focusing on is the break of the false zone. So we're getting those breaks here. We're not getting, let me zoom in so you guys can kind of see the candles better. Uh, we're getting the breaks here. It's not much resistance going on here. So I like that that bullish pressure is going into buys here. And we're breaking all the false areas here. We got this last one here. Normally, the very last false area gives us the most problems. It's always that last one, which is, of course, that recent, you know, higher high here. So we got to make sure we're paying attention here once we touch that level in about two minutes because I'm pretty sure Nas is going to start flying. So we're going to see what we do here. Like I said, I'm going to kind of eye it, the TP. I'm going to kind of eye like the volume and things like that. Uh, normally, I also like to drop down to the one minute time frame too, just to, you know, check some things overall. But from here, this looks really good. Uh, yeah, like, like I said, we're going to continue to just watch it. Make sure everything is tight here. So 
But how you guys been doing though? You know, I'm just wasting time right now. I'm just wasting until until ten o'clock. But <laughs> how you guys been doing these days, man? So I'm gonna be like I said, I told you, I'm gonna be busting out these videos. Uh I got a lot of content that I wanna do. I'm gonna be changing it up a little bit on YouTube as as far as like uh POV views and things like that. So it's gonna be like different content as well. So I'm not gonna say anything yet. I'm just gonna um post it. See if you guys like it. If you guys don't, you know, and you know, I I'll, I'll find some new avenues. If you guys do, I'll definitely continue to provide that for you guys. So, so yeah. So this is looking pretty good so far. About to hit that TP, the first TP there, and then we're gonna um, and then yeah, we're gonna see how the market moves. You're talking, you're talking about an extra eighty pips there, you're trying to grab at a Naj right now. So I may not extend it too far. You know, I don't wanna. I don't want to exhaust the, the take profit too much. So yeah, so yeah, so we'll wait we'll wait here and see. I'm on I'm looking at the Discord right now because I know the members are watching the break. Yeah, they're already in the trade by now. Shout out to my boy Bradley. Yeah, so I was gonna do another live stream for them, but you know, I was like, man, let me just do a video. So let's see how this trade goes. See how quick this movement gonna be. All right, so I'm just paying attention to the to the zone here. You know, if I do get in an, an engulfing here, I'll close the trade early. We won't get a full flip, but you know, it is what it is. But I definitely definitely see it breaking above here. I'm pretty sure Nas will break here for buys. Yeah, just give it a minute. Not as volatile as um eight thirty, but I think it will kick in soon. You know, eight thirty, eight thirty, it it went straight up, straight up a hundred pips. Let's see, right from my entry. If you guys on my Instagram, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, NTG dot Academy. You guys can see all my posts and my trades that I post on there. Yeah, but yeah, that was a hundred. That was an easy one hundred pit one candle move there, that we that we did on eight thirty. Okay, so not bad. Volume is was is pretty light. It's pretty light. You know, I like I like some big moves. You know, exciting moves. You know, it just makes it a little bit more entertaining. You know, then these then these lack luscious moves. So since um Nas is not like it's not taking off as much, it's not a lot of volume with this red for their news. I won't be trying to hit that that's uh 780 area. So I'll just take out at the first TP, which is 100 pips. So that's what I'll that's what I'll do there. Because I can't rely on, you know, on this volume to to go up another 100 pips. It's a little bit too slow. It's very lackluster. So we're just going to aim for that first TP. That's around another 30 pips. So not bad. Waiting for it to break. If I see, and like I said, if I see any signs that we're going to get in a golfing candle, I will close early. It'll be unfortunate, you know, that I have to close halfway through the TP from my first account flip. But it's all good. Like I said, I'm warming back. I'm warming up back into it. So I thought today would be a good day. You know, we didn't have like heavy news today, so I thought it would be a good day to flip. So let's see here. I know it's not taking off now. But hopefully after that first five minutes, we'll start to get some movement. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos. My next goal, right, for for this video is to do like $100 or $1,000, something like that. I want to get back to my old, you guys, if you guys are OG subscriber of mine from like three, four years ago, when I was posting account flip videos almost every single day, <laughs> the academy was asking me to do that. 
And I've been wanting to do it anyway because, you know, it's been a while. It's been a couple years since I've done an account flip. So I want to get back into the motion of it. Oh, yeah. So we're looking good here. Volume is starting to pick up a little bit. I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to drop down a time frame. I just want to see what's going on on the one minute. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, very nice. Good. So we're getting a break on the one minute time frame on these zones. So that's telling me a lot of buying pressure is still up. We tried to make the move to the downside and we have a lot of wicks here showing more bullish continuation. So I'm pretty sure Nas will want to hit that 700 area. That's where I will take the TP. And that's where I will close my trades. Yeah, but we shouldn't be in this trade. We shouldn't be in this trade much longer, though. I think after this candle, we're going to start picking up. Oh, yeah, but how's your trading, guys, going? How's your trading going these days? You guys coming back into trading? You guys been trading for a few years now? How has your progress been? Any key elements that you think you're missing in your trading? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd like to know because I, cause I could definitely do a video on it. It gives me so much video ideas when you guys comment some of your improvements, some of your struggles. So we can definitely do a video on it. All right, Nas, now don't be shy. It's like every time I, I record a video for Nas for you guys. Nas like starts to be shy and it doesn't want to move. <laughs> All right. Nas is continuing to push up here. Looking good, looking good. Now, we won't be able to hit that 100% flip, but that's okay. I definitely will reach it if I if I hold to that 780, but, you know, the market is just moving so slow. So, I don't want to take that chance. So, I'll just take my profit at the TP, at the original TP spot, and, yeah, that'll be it. I think this is still a good little warm-up. Like I said, I'm not going full force yet, guys. You know, this is not your boy NTG at, at his 100% peak. You know, I got to get back to my prime days. It's been, a, it's been a while since I did a flip. So, you know, give me, give me like another trade. And then your boy got you with the full flips. All right. So let's go ahead and prepare to start closing these trades. So we can start closing out. There we go. And there we go. Perfect. So, so we hit that TP mark there. So all is good there. So yeah, so that was that was gonna be it for this trade, guys. This was a uh, the Nas trade here for breakout slash pre breakout trading. Now I do have my pre breakout strategy on my YouTube channel, so you guys can kind of if you guys are not familiar with this strategy, it's on my YouTube channel. So you gotta I don't know which video it is because it's been so long. You're going to have to surf it. If I find it, I'll post a link in the description. And yeah, so that's going to be it for this Nas trade. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. If you guys do like this type of content, like I said, for the live, for like, just like a live trading, sitting with NTG. I don't know. What should we call these? Um, You guys let me know. Let me know what we can call these. Sit, sit with NTG, live trading with NTG. Oh, yeah, we can do it that way. Live trading with NTG. I like that. That's going to be the title of the video. All right, guys. So <laughs> like I said, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys share a comment below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was your boy NTG. And I'll see you guys soon. And I'm out. Peace.